Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Susan here. Thank you so much for joining us. For today's recipe, we're going to be making some delicious potato curry style samosas. Okay, let's get cooking. First thing we're going to do is peel our potatoes. There we go. And then we're going to chop them up. And then we're going to boil them for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to get our onions ready and we're going to dice them. Then we're going to leave them aside and add our peas to to be cooked with our potatoes. After that's done, we're going to pour it into our colander here for straining that water. And then we're going to give it a little good of a rinse. Okay, and then we're going to leave that aside. We're adding three tablespoons of olive oil here. Make sure to coat your wok all over. Now we're going to add our onions that we chopped earlier. Nice and finely chopped. And we're going to slowly brown them for about five minutes. It's already smelling so good. Okay, we're going to cook that until it's soft and then we're going to add a pinch of salt, pinch of white pepper, pinch of black pepper for the taste. Okay, just stir that all around. I'm just adding some water to create a, some kind of a saucy base. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of chicken stock powder and I like mine a little bit sweet so we're adding three teaspoons of sugar. We're going to put some turmeric and some cumin uh, depending on your taste you'd put how much you'd like I only put uh, a little pinch there and then we're gonna add some medium curry powder we like ours mild okay and then we're just gonna stir all that up let it cook for about one minute or so I'm just adding a little bit more water because I like my uh, potatoes uh, a little bit saucy there there we go, we're just creating some kind like a sauce, a saucy onion mix here. There we go, and then we're going to add that to our strained uh, potato and peas there. There we go. Now we're going to mash this up. I made a mistake by using a spoon here. It's best to use a fork or a potato masher. And we're just going to quickly mash this all up. There we go. And there goes my fork. You see, it's so much more easier. And just mix everything up nicely. And there you go. We have our filling. Okay, and here you can see me wrapping my uh, samosa here. Uh, we bought these uh, samosa skins or samosa pastries from our local supermarket. And there's many, many ways of... Uh, of actually wrapping up your samosa here. This is uh, one of the traditional ways where we form a pocket at the bottom and then uh, it closes with one or two folds here. We also prepared some uh, cornstarch uh, water to just seal it. As you saw, we made quite a few samosas there and now we're starting to uh, deep fry it. Uh, the oil should be medium, medium hot and then uh, as you can see, we're slowly adding our samosas. Don't overfill your wok or uh, pot that you're frying this in. Uh, you should just remember, we're just going to deep fry this until the pastry turns uh, goldish yellow. Since the, all the filling there is already cooked. And you can see it's very nice and delicious. Oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Yes, yes, yes. Can't wait. And we're done. We're about to chew on these babies. There you have it, our beautiful, comforting, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, delicious samosas. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, guys, guys, if you liked our video, please like, subscribe, comment, or suggest any other videos that you'd like us to make for you guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon uh, because we're going to be rolling out more videos soon. And uh, don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. Gotcha, gotcha.